Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll try to solve lead code problem 1720 which is to decode XOID array. Thanks for coming back to my channel and let's solve this problem together. So we are given, we need to decode an XOID array. So basically we are given an input array which is already encoded and we need to get the part before it was encoded, right? The decoded one. So here we have got an encoded array 1, 2, 3 and they have given us a first element you know what is this first? This first is one. This is part of the decoded element, you know. So I'll explain you what they're trying to say. So there was an array called this one, right? And you know, you can call it decoded and it was decoded. So they told us, okay, we're going to give you the first uh, element of this array, which is one. Now, right, they we're going to give you this thing. And uh, so basically now you need to find this array. And we are, so we need to, you need to find this array, this one, and we're going to give you the first element and how, and we also going to give you the encoded array and what's going to be the encoded array? One, two, three. So they've just given us the explanation that how do you encode an array from a decoded array? So this is a decoded array and how do you get this one, two, three out of it? This. So for this, you use the XOR operation. That's what they're trying to teach us. So what does it mean? So you take one and zero, then zero and two, and then two and one. So you take one XOR. So in programming, we use symbol for XOR is this one. So one XOR zero is, they've given us here. One XOR zero is, what do you get here? One, yeah. Then they've given us, what is this one? So zero XOR, two so zero xor two is whatever you got here right so which was two um, then they told us okay what is two xor one and they've given us the answer for that as well because that was what we got after so you see what you did a xor operation on this array which was just xor is an operation where you take this first number second number and use this operator on it and you get this encoded array so you get this one two and then for this one you get three so the question is, they're saying us that you try to find what was this decoded array. After, so it's already encoded. They're saying, okay, we're going to give you this encoded array and we're going to give you the first element of this, this decoded, decoded array before it was encoded, right? So just, we are going to give you this first element and the answer of this. Try to find all of this. So, okay, so how can you find it? So what we need to do is we need to find basically we need to use this one and we need to do this XOR with this one. You see what going to be one XOR one, then uh, whatever you get and you will, you can get this answer. So you will ask me that, Abhi, how do you know that one XOR zero is zero or zero XOR two is two or two XOR one is three. Then um, if I give you an example that if seven XOR 10, like if you want to guess then what it will be. So 7x or 10 is 13. You will say me how 7x or 10 is 13. So you need to know first what XOR is. So let me give you explanation. So you need to convert this integer, the element 7 into a byte uh, number, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to convert it to bytes. So you will say 0, it will be 0, 1, 1, 1. That's what you call seven in bytes so and then what do you call 10 in bytes so if you write that that would be you call it so i also find it from google you can also find it or you can convert it as well i can do it as well but it's just long time and that's not the motive behind this question the motive behind this question is to solve the problem <laughs> and we haven't on the problem yet so now, how does the XOR operation work? How do you know that 7XOR 10 is 13? So in, you know, because we are doing an XOR operation here, XOR, this operation. What does it do? It says, okay, if one and zero is there, if any of the value is one, then you output one as the answer. If both the values are same, so here both the values are one, one, you output zero as the answer for this one now. See, any of the value is one, you output one is the answer. Any of the value is one, you again output one is the answer. If any, if both the values are zero, 
right then also you output one as answer but here you can see how i've done it so when you convert this binary yeah this is a binary when you convert this binary to integer again you will get 13 and you can see online how can you convert it like you have to do uh, two power and you have to increase the power and you should know it so that's how you get it but just remember it it's 13 that's how you got it that's the only logic so now you need to find it so let's do it how are you gonna find it so what i'll do i'll create a variable store and this will be array and what do i want in the beginning so you know they've given us this first array first element and this is the answer we want so we want this first always you see this thing is always here see this first is four and this is always here in the answer so what we can do being smart we'll just push this first here so at least we have got this bit done now we just have to care about these three bits so now what we'll do we'll put the logic for that so we'll say okay we'll run a for loop for variable i equals zero and only thing we can run for loop is this encoded so let's run run on it should be encoded dot length yeah and i plus plus so now what's the logic so now i want to push the logic so what i want to do i want to have this store this one and i want to push obviously we want the answer after this right this zero to one so i'll say okay store dot push okay now what do i want so i'll say okay take the store and in the store take the i element in the beginning when i is zero what is this this one right so basically i want to take this element so i'm going to take store it i and do the xor operation with the encoded array so i want to go and take the n coded array and i want to take that i element of the encoded array so this element of this store which is zero right which is one so i'll say okay one and what you do you do xor operation with one so one xor one you know what is that one x or one is zero right so that's what we want here it means we are doing it correct so and we will push it here so you know what will happen this was in the beginning this array was the first element so first element was one then when we did one x or this one x or with this i element one so one x or one we got zero right and then every time we increase the i and then we do the xor operation and that's how we'll get one zero and then literally two and then one you can do it and if you want to double check it you can do all the xor in an online tool you will find it on google that's it and if you now do return if you do return store you should get the answer i'll explain you more further so when you get i is zero then if you do zero this one zero xor with this two you'll get the other digit this one and then when you'll do uh, two xor with this three you will get one just try to do it online and you will get the answer let's try to comment this else it would give error okay i'll run this let's see yeah it worked so we got the runtime solution everything's fine and if i try to run it it would pass all the use cases as well yeah so we got good use case it worked so guys if you like my videos and the way i teach please go make sure you subscribe my channel like my videos share it with your friends if they are they want to learn read quite as well and help find a better job thank you